Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion, and I'm here to give you an overview and show you benchmarks for the latest graphics card in the Graphics Core Next series from AMD. This is the Sapphire version of the HD7790. This is a 1 gig card, and it features the custom cooling solution from Sapphire, the Dual X cooling solution. Um, let's take a closer look at the card itself. So here we have a closer look at the card itself, and you can see on the top we've got the custom cooling solution from Sapphire, the Dual X with the two fans, and a nice black and silver shroud on it. You can see the multiple heat pipes underneath that are the copper heat pipes there to wick the heat away from the GPU, which is codenamed Bonaire. Um, on the bottom here, you have your PCI 3.0 connector, and on the top here is a PCI Express 6-pin 75-watt connector. On the back of the board, we've got our four screws that hold the heat sink on, and as well as our crossfire connection port here. For uh, interface, you have a full-size display port, full-size HDMI port, and two DVI connections available to you. This is based on the 28 nanometer architecture and also has the is overclocked so it features a 1075 megahertz GPU clock and a 6000 megahertz memory clock. Before it has one gigabyte of memory on board it is GDDR5 and it is on a 128 bit memory interface. What this gives you is approximately 96 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. It does have 2.08 billion transistors on it and 896 stream processors available to it. You also have the newest version of the AMD PowerTune technology, which is designed to allow you to get higher clocks and better performance while maintaining power efficiency. Finally, Sapphire includes a nice accessory kit with their card. We've got a crossfire cable here, as well as an HDMI cable that's bundled with it. It is 1.8 meters long. And you have a DVI to VGA converter, along with a 4-pin Molex to 6-pin PCI Express in case you don't have a 6-pin PCI Express cable available. A little information on the manufacturer. Quick installation guide. Driver installation CD. And in typical fashion the Sapphire registration card which if you're unfamiliar has a code on the back that allows you to register online and become one of their gold members. And now for the benchmarks. I hope you enjoyed the overview of this card and saw the benchmarks that you were looking for. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page, Facebook, and Twitter, and check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com. Take care.